In Search of Darkness, part two. I'm in this one. The 80s was the splatter decade. That was my decade. There was something really dark and sexy and strange. Crazy stuff. It's like a roller coaster ride. People love this stuff. There really was a shift of a whole new generation of monster makers. That was so clever and creative. We were rock stars in the 80s. Tom Savini came to us and said, I want to cut somebody's head off. I was called the Sultan of Splatter, the Wizard of Gore. I think it's one of the finest ways of murdering someone. How could you let me watch that? It was something that your parents hated. That was one of the attractions of it. It is just a shredder. The essence of sex and violence. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me. I just couldn't get enough. I remember having to stop it because I was getting so rattled. That's an image that I'll never forget. <laughs> Gives me chills thinking about it. I love those Italian movies. They're just crazy. The Italians just went there immediately. They just went boom. Video nasties were a good thing for me. A fake snuff film phase. Really? Not very PC, is it? Liquidate the Nazarene. And I just remember thinking, Hello. This is fucking weird. <laughs> it was all about trying to understand the world around us, and the world around us was extremely hostile. It's full of things that want to bite you and kill you and eat you. And that's just the humans. Revenge of the nerds on steroids. You control a murderer. Eh, it's more fun to be the bad guy. Freddy bored into his subconscious and was maybe opening the closet door. And when people go, hey, what's it like to be in the gayest horror movie ever made? I go, it was fucking awesome. I'd been bullied. I'd been an outcast. I think that's really one of the first times that you saw what goth was all about. It's not just a one-note genre. It's funny as hell. I started growing hair. It just all meshes together so perfectly. It's like horror of the absurd. That's a funny moment, but it's scary as hell. That is kind of what resonates with fans. Hey, kids. Welcome to primetime.